Welcome in basketball fans to day two of the battle in the 7-4-0. My name is Ryan Dietrich. Alongside my <coughs> co-host, Candace Parker. How are you today, Candace? Candace Parker. <laughs> I love it, though. Compare me to a legend. I feel really good today. It's a go We're off to a hot start um, as we've got Belpre boys taking on the South Webster boys from just across the river in Kentucky here. Um, they just announced the starters were going to get underway, as you can see it right there. Uh, big number one, Eli Roberts, standing at 6'7", returning from last year. He's obviously the anchor of this Jeep squad. We're going to start off Belpre with possession. Good defense here from the Jeeps early on. That Schubert got his hands on an early ball. All right, Blake Church, running point for the Belpre boys. Oh, and a steal. Good recovery. Chris Copen with the swat. Saves the play, the Jeeps recover. I like that. Rattles in, Tyler Summer. A little pop and stop. The mid-range is a lost art in the game. <laughs> Definitely. But it's good to see it live and well that first basket. Underway from Waller Gymnasium here, live at Shawnee State University. From the free throw line, elevates, can't get it to fall. Junior Bass on the miss, pushed ahead, Dylan Schubert. Keep swinging around, driving the paint, kick back out to Roberts at the top. Good find, I don't know how he got that. Tyler Summer with the two. What do you think about the big man, Roberts? Penetrating, dishing it off. Nice little spin fake, good cut down the lane. Kicks it back out to Isaiah Spencer. Boarded by Summer. Keeps pushing it. Oh, he had Roberts storming down the lane on the right side. He missed the early alley-oop. Sometimes as a guard, you got to keep your head up. And here's a good look at the replay. Coast to coast, he just grabs it. He looks for his teammate on the left side, but he just takes it the whole way. Out by Derek Liston will be his first at summer at the line shooting two. Knocks in the first one. Summer, the senior guard. He has all six of the Jeep's points. The 12 o'clock start isn't bother, bothering him at all. No, he came ready to play. Break Church bringing it up. Roberts guarding at the perimeter. Great oh. fake and drive. Roberts with the block from behind. You can lay it up there soft against 6-7. Yep, get him on the travel there. Not quite the Euro step jump stop through. Dylan Schuper called for the travel turnover. And there's a good look at the replay on the Roberts chase down. It's a great drive from Copen. It sure is, but whew, not enough. Got to get that ball up there really high. Copen again. Kick out to Liston. Our first Man. three of the game. Eric Liston for three. Double team in the corner. Tyler Summer steps through. A little contact with the body. I will, will say, Tyler Summer, here we see the replay. Just spot up shoot, nice follow through. Good quick release by Liston. Get the Golden Eagles on the board. But Tyler Summer, he's been really aggressive offensively. It seems like he's the one that initiates all of the Jeep's offense. At the line, knocks in a second. All seven points from the Jeeps by Tyler Summer here early on. Derek Liston, right wing. Back to Liston on the far side. Good oh, feed great inside. Pass, but even better recovery. Junior Bass banging around down on the low block. Liston again. Chris Copen for two. 
On the third possession, a couple offensive rebounds by the Golden Eagles. Some good defense here, causing a turnover. Blake Church for three from the corner. Assisted by Nisaiah Spencer. And just like that, the Golden Eagles come alive. Yeah, good, good three off that quick turnover. Nice spin move by Summer. Feed into the corner, Schubert off the two. Golden Eagles pushing the pressure a little bit here. Blake Church, Spencer on the left wing. See if quick release from Nisaya Spencer, two in a row. The left-hander heating up, and we're going to get a timeout from the South Webster Jeeps. Look at the Golden Eagles just passing it around, spot up. Knocks it down, Spencer. Church, Liston, Spencer, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back threes. The great equalizer. There's a good look at the South Webster bench. The Jeeps wearing the red uniforms there. South Webster boys in red. Started hot seven straight, but falling asleep a little bit. Good tip out by Spencer. And yeah, Chris Copen just grabbed the board, turn and put it right back up. We talked about that mid-range game. Oh, mid-range mid game matters. Tyler Summer in the middle of the paint, kicks it out. Back to Summer, gonna let it fly, should be a long two. Good rebound by the Jeeps. Oh, but even better defense. That's 24, coping with the block. Great. Way to run the floor by the Golden Eagles there. Junior Bass ahead to Isaiah Spencer. A little touch pass. Golden Eagles on a run here. Look, if I'm the Jeeps. Oh, my God, he turned his head on the floor. If I'm the Jeeps, and I got 6-7, I'm working to get him a ball, especially to stop this Golden Eagle run. And you see he was a little frustrated on that play. His teammate tried to pass him the ball, and he turned his head. Jeeps out of bounds underneath. Schubert on the far side, drives the lane. Underneath to Summer off the foot. A Blake Church it looks like, so the Jeeps are gonna get a reset, another try. Out of bounds underneath. See a play like this? Just throw it up, Roberts, hands up. Don't even bring it down, just shoot it. They got a box around the lane. We'll see what they run on the underneath play. Just a soft inbound to Summer. Roberts flashes. And he took it down. Takes it one bounce, puts it up. Off the mark, Blake Church coming up the other way. Perfect shot though for Roberts. Is there anytime he wants it. Spencer drives the lane, kicks to the corner, Copen. Battle for the board, Summer saves it. Nobody home though. Should be going the other, ooh. Gonna stay white ball, Belpre on the inbounds. Out underneath. Looks like from the side, Blake Church inbounding it, listing up top. Oh, great steal. Good defense from Dylan Schubert. Gives the assist to Owen Malt with the easy layup. South Webster with a little bit of an answer. Textbook on how you run the fast break. And look, they get another steal. Schubert again. Owen Malt just a little off the mark. All right, let's see if the same twosome is going to apply the pressure out beyond the perimeter. And there they are. Owen Malt meets him out at the volleyball line. Church, nobody on, pulls the trigger off the mark. Bass can't get it. Jeeps ball. White to Malt, Owen Malt down below. Dylan Schubert for three, just short. Good save by Belpre. And Isaiah Spencer runs the floor, they pull it back out, left wing, far side, Derek Liston. 
Reset the offense up top, Blake Church. You can hear head coach Ryan Leisure in his second year giving his boys a little bit of direction, but he's just letting them play for the most part and a little bit handsy as Eli Roberts there. A late call, but the right call. In a foul 26 feet from the rim, you can't be doing that. No, 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 especially when you're so important to your team offensively and defensively. A little too overly aggressive. Yep. That's just Roberts' first foul. As we got about 145 remaining here in the first. Church driving kick, and this is Spencer for three. Three in a row for Spencer. I think at a point, the Jeeps are having to get out. It seems like the Golden Eagles are just having a field day at the three-point line. Good shot from Eli Roberts there. Ball in the net. There we go. And again, that shot for Roberts is available anytime he wants it. He's obviously the tallest one on the floor, and then his release point is so high, nobody's yeah. going to block it. Yeah, I'd like to see the Jeep spread the floor a little bit more and just let him work off that kind of high post area. Junior Bass, nice turnaround. Works inside, got away with the travel. Back to him. Left-handed turning sky hook, Junior Bass. Making it look good. Schubert working off the left wing. And both teams are running with their starters the entire first period. In and out. Ordered by Spencer. Got to yeah. make the bunnies. Yep, no substitutions yet so far. Only 30 seconds remaining. They're going to slow this one up. Maybe hold it for the last shot or not as they've got Junior Bass wide open down low. And we got an injury on the floor, Blake Church. That was a great play. A two for one in the quarter. Unfortunately, we have a player down. Yeah, Church, yes, a little easy on that ankle coming up. Good look at the replay. Junior Bass backing it down, that nice little sky hook with Summer right in his face. And here should be the next. Look, as we've got Cope in the old drive and kick. Great pass. Easy does it. Good inside game from the Golden Eagles is Junior Bass making an impression down low. And we got a substitution, Timothy in. Checking in for Blake Church. We'll see how the ankle goes. And Eli one. Roberts and one. That's what you're talking about. We called the N1 at the same time. <laughs> That's what we've been looking for. Yeah, man. Here we Be a good look at it once again, but you mentioned it before as Roberts is at the line. Can't get his free throw to fall. There's a look at the replay. This big man ball as we get back to the action is Liston. Kind of pockets it. Christian White thought he got him with the travel, but. He did, he kind of caught the ball on his hip. Now, if he had his head up a little bit more, he could have went straight to the basket. There was nobody sitting on their right side. We're going to get a side out. Hayden Tabler inbound at the buzzer. Derek Liston. Isaiah Spencer couldn't get it off the board. And that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. The Belpre Golden Eagles lead it 20 to 13. Here from Waller Gymnasium, a good look. A quick three from Nazea Spencer. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting a it- A pretzel bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. Football there, football there. Football everywhere! What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref! Let the boys play! And a good looking shot of the South Webster 
Cheerleading squad, always good to bring the crew down. Yeah, the and mascot's over there too. Just amp up the atmosphere. Is he a Jeep? We are gonna have to investigate that. That's a great <laughs> question. All right, back underway. Here we are, the Jeeps. Owen balled at the point. Eli Roberts, that's what they want. Starting it off early, good tip. Second possession, just a little too much heat on that pass. And on that shot right there, I love the intention, but again, I know he missed a couple. Just shoot it. Yep. Nobody's blocking your shot. And I want him to just take it straight up. Stop putting the ball on the floor. Junior Bass. Going to bring it up as the Jeeps are bringing up some full court pressure. Seeing if they can slow down this Golden Eagle onslaught. They and break it. Fairly easily. Just passed right through it. Got to finish. Junior Bass. The second attempt. Can't get it to go. It's Brock Campbell. And yeah, the Jeeps with a couple new guys on the floor. Number 12, Brock Campbell, who just went up there. You're seeing 13, Timothy. And number five, Hunter Barnard in there. Checking in, giving the boys a breather. Robert stays and Owen Malt, the two starters on the floor. And we've got 13, Jack Timothy, the senior. At the line. First one's up and good. Gets a second, Jack Timothy knocks in two. South Webster in the red there. Trailing by six. Pass out of the press. And they get a, yeah, a little light contact there, but. Light is the right word for it. Now, yep, Jack Timothy, or excuse me, Brock Campbell, number 12, called on that. He just got, you know, turned a little bit to his side. He was get table was getting by him. I'm all a proponent of letting the kids play yeah. a little bit. One thing I have noticed is there are a lot of whistles in basketball. And Contact is okay. Yeah. And there's number 21 checking back in Blake Church. Oh, little mis miscommunication. I don't see his ankle taped up, but maybe did it. Maybe it was to start with, but either way. Looks like he's moving fine back on his feet, so the Golden Eagles will be happy to have their starting point guard back in. It's Brock Campbell for the Jeeps, slips a little bit. Looks like he tweaked his ankle there, listing the other way. Can't get the easy bucket to go, but they stay with it and get the offensive rebound. Tied up on the baseline, they're gonna call it a jump ball. And that was a great drive, him evading the potential block shot. Just. Again, got to finish at the rim. Junior Bass. Good footwork in the paint. And Jack Timothy doing a good job on the defensive end, but they're going to call that one too on the shot. Maybe a little slap on the hand as we get a good look here. Yeah, a little reach okay. with the left around. The, yep, came down a little bit. Right on the forearm. I like to see the big man moving his feet on that play. Junior Bass gets his first up and good. Not going to call it a lost art, but we don't see a lot of posts. Mm -mm. Post up, post moves, footwork, drop step, reverse pivot. We're going to bring it back, though. Junior Bass at the line, shooting a second. Rattles in. Owen Malt, around to Brock Coon. Nice Ooh. elevation by Timothy. They are packing the paint on Roberts and Timothy found an opening and a nice little smooth mid range. Oh, great up and under from Liston. Owen Malt working the point. Little double team out at the volleyball line. Contact, no call. Roberts out of the corner. Got to follow through. Nice tip drill by the Eagles as they find Spencer wide open. 
Good run the floor. Belfry Golden Eagles pulling away up nine. Eli Roberts, long three. Malt on the rebound. Good work by Owen Malt, able to save it and throw it off of Isaiah Spencer there. I know three-point shots are the way of the game now, but if you're Roberts again, you're going to do most of your damage inside of the paint. Is it difficult? Yes. You'll see number 32 Bass for the Golden Eagles. He's not really leaving the blue area, especially when Roberts is down there. But you're down nine. No need to, to shoot a three at this point. Good steal by Junior Bass and Isaiah Spencer running the floor again. Able to lay that one in. Spencer's got a dozen leading scorer on the floor. And in the open court, nobody's stopping him. Mm -hmm. Take by Dylan Schubert. Can't get the fall. Blake Church. It just seems like the Golden Eagles are playing with a bit more intensity than the Jeeps. They're getting to every loose ball, getting steals, getting fast breaks. Quick release. In and out. Eric Liston liked his look, just couldn't get it to go. Tries to get the steal, but just stretches into him. Chris Copen called for the foul. And yeah, as always, I'd like to thank the sponsors who proudly put on the battle in the 7-4-0. Buffalo Wild Wings, Wendy's, Scioto River, all of the proud companies here from the area. Hashtag BNT740. If you're out watching, help us get trending. As the Jeeps, and Timothy Summer bangs a three from the far corner. Cuts the, cuts the lead down to eight. It does, and Summer's been really quiet since that early in the first quarter. Maybe it takes him to get him going, and Roberts, if that foul's not on him, he got away with one. As Blake Church goes crashing to the floor through the paint. Oh yeah, yeah all body. Yeah, Schubert there called for the foul number three. You see him just kind of hip checking. Church taking it out underneath. Liston with the quick three from the corner. Hustling the other way, Christian White. Up ahead to Roberts, one hand. Nice finish by the big man. That's the way to do it, run out. Get, him, get the ball early and on time. Textbook fast break. Eric Liston, Derek Blake Church in the corner. High arcing three. That long. arc almost hit the sky. <laughs> Got that one up there. Roberts behind his back. Ooh, Blake Church called for a tough block right in the paint. Took the heat from Eli Roberts. And Eli Roberts was dishing, trying to find his man. Got to be ready when you have somebody who's willing to pass. There's a couple of like, no look in the paint that he tried to get to his teammates and they just weren't ready for it. Yeah, that's about the third one we've seen. All right, Timothy Summer. He's gonna swing it around, good play out on the out of bounds underneath, but Roberts can't get it to fall. Nazea Spencer. I thought Church was gonna shoot that. They swing it into the corner. Liston, Summer in his face. Brings the pressure out to the volleyball line, back to the corner. Tabler working it around. Spencer back to Tabler. Aiden Tabler. Need a little bit more motion on that offense. Seems like a few of their, you know, when they're up and running, they seem like a, a, a team that's on the go, but in that half court right there, nearly everybody except for Spencer was moving to go get the ball, and it caused them to get the turnover. Yep, a little slow on the offense there. What causes the turnover leads to a Jeep possession here as Eli Roberts, he got poked out underneath, Hayden Tabler. All right, Jeep's ball out underneath.
First and White on the inbounds. No motion here from the Jeeps either. Trying to just get it to Summer in the corner. Roberts flashes, can't find it. Near side, Schubert for three. Oh, way to rebound. Eli Roberts, an easy two. And there's a timeout from head coach Ryan Leisure for the Belpre boys. And that's what they need as the lead is down to four here with just 2.40 remaining in the second quarter. It's a good answer from Webster. As the lead got up to nine, trimming it down. And yeah, you said it looked like they ran out a little gas. And we'll take a look at the replay here. See what the Jeep's offense. The Jeep's offense mainly running through Tyler Summer okay. as he kind of comes alive here a little bit in the second quarter. And then the transition bucket here. Just the one handed, that was a nice finish. Oh, for sure. From Roberts, no reason to take it down. Nearly all of their offense, if not all, is between two players, Roberts and Summer. And if you're the Golden Eagles, it's doing something either to stop one, maybe not stop both, but stop one, they can get the lead back up again. But letting those two players score at will is going to cause some problems. Everybody else, there's a couple of people, Malt and Timothy, um, have put some points on the board, but it's mainly Summers and Roberts doing all the damage. All right, 2.35 to play. We'll see what head coach Ryan Leisure of the Belpre Golden Eagles has drawn up. It's Blake Church. Nice shake. He called bank. <laughs> Little shake of the head from Church there, and the smart gun counts either way. Good spin move from Campbell down low. Another blocking call by right, Blake Church. I think that's three on him, and he's saying, what the heck, I'm going straight up. Here's a good look at the replay from Church. Now, you didn't see it on, on the first play a little bit. He kind of shook him out of his yep. shoes a little bit, but hey, <laughs> Bank is a part of basketball. He called it, it went in. <laughs> Yep, third foul on Blake Church, so he's going to have to check out. Here we go. There we go. Here's the sizzle. Works left. Didn't even need the screen. As Campbell knocks in the second free throw. Yeah, and just on this end out of the camera, the net was stuck up in the rim, so. That's what that momentary pause is. Back underway. Here from Waller Gymnasium. I like to see some full court pressure here from the Jeeps. Golden Eagles break it easily, drop it down low to Bass, but Campbell in the right, in the way, kicks it out of bounds. Eric Liston takes it out to the volleyball line, gonna reset things. Summer went out a little bit. You gotta get some movement on offense. It's like when they get in half court, they get stagnant. Yep, lazy hand from Summer there. Moves his feet, he can get out there and tra try and trap him in the corner. But yeah, this Golden Eagles offense, you see it, just a lot of dribbling up, you know, 35 feet from the basket. Taken out on the far side is Tabler. Junior Bass, little pump fake. Working a little one-on-one. On one. That's a little bit of a force right there. He should have dissed it out to one of his guards. Eli Roberts. No good. That stepped on the line. Good effort by Christian White, though. Out of bounds off the Jeeps. It'll be Belpre ball. And you saw... Eli Roberts turned to his bench and say that's him. A transition three at this point may not be the best shot. We understand he wants to get the points on the board, but again, his damage can be done in that paint. And again, another foul. Now it's about 30 feet away from the basket. Right. Yep, silly mistakes, gonna have to get trimmed down at halftime. 
And that'll take us into the bonus. Kabler at the line, shooting two. There was a rule change. I think after your 15 foul, it's double bonus. Oh. As a missed free throw there leads to the G possession, Timothy Summer. Drives and attack. Good bucket there from Summer. A great move attacking the basket. Three on one, he has a teammate open. Time out by Coach Leisure. I like that call there, his boys were in trouble. We had three Jeeps around him. So as we get 58 seconds left here before halftime. There we go, and that'll explain it for us. There is no more one and one free throw situations beginning with the 15 foul. All fouls result oh. in two free throws. Team fouls re set each quarter. Scoreboard will show a mas maximum of five fouls. So that is the new rule in high school basketball. You weren't the only one perplexed. I think yep. uh, I went to my first uh, high school game of the season <laughs> on the 30th, and I'm like, why are they shooting a double bonus so early? But it makes all the sense with the new rule change. All right, all right 58 seconds. Four-point game, Jeep's hanging around. Belpre's struggling to keep the offense alive. They got Hayden Tabler crashing through. Well, Curry doesn't take it. Derek Liston drives, spin, up, blocked, boarded. Bucket, Malik Curry. Jack oh. Campbell off the mark, boarded by Malik Curry again. That was a great make, a great move against two, but again, got to finish at the rim. It seems like the Jeeps has, la has left a lot of points on the board, just missing bunnies. Pump fake, pulls it down, puts it back up. Good shot by Derek Liston. He's got seven on the day. And Liston with a little step back. Good crossover by Eli Roberts, but a long three into the hands of his teammate, Jack Campbell, at the buzzer. And that'll bring us to halftime here, folks. Your Belpre Golden Eagles lead it 35 to 29 here on the Yamo Sports Network. We'll be back after halftime. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting a it- A pretzel bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. Football there, football there, football everywhere. What, how is that a flag? He landed on him after the site. That's rough in the passer. Huh, okay, what if he hit him high? Rough in the passer. And low? Rough in the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref, let the boys play. Man, Rick, these boys is out here getting it. Oh, oh I'm Come sorry, on, man. man, hold up. You a football player, man. We talking basketball, my fault. Hold up, bro. They out I, here. Man, I made all city balling. Oh. Beechcroft, man. Oh, okay, man. You okay, remember. respect, respect. No. Well, look, they out here balling man, today. Balling. They hey, balling. Now, I'm going to tell you, you know what they should be doing when they done, when, they, when the game over and they done balling, you know what they should be doing? Training, trying to get better so they can go to the next level. No. What you talking about, man? Man, they should be listening to us. Oh, okay. Every Saturday morning, man, they should be listening to the Rick, Rick and Reese show. show. You Enjoy right? 107.1 FM. Okay, okay. And then go get with your trainer <laughs> at about 11. <laughs> I ain't gonna forgive you for saying I ain't no baller, though. Nah, it's all good, man. Super salute, man. They out here getting it in, man. Yamo Media. So, you know, let's keep enjoying the game, man. Yes, sir. Let 
and gentlemen, we're happy to bring you the halftime show of the cheerleaders. So enjoy. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting it- A pretzel it bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. Football there. Football there. Football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's rough in the passer. Huh. OK, what if he hit him high? Rough in the passer. And low? Rough in the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref, let the boys play. Man, Rick, these boys is out here getting it. Oh, oh I'm Come sorry, on, man. man, hold up. You a football player, man. We talking basketball, my fault. Hold up, bro. They out I, here. Man, I made all city balling. Oh? Beechcroft, man. Oh, okay. man. You okay, remember. respect, respect. You know. Well, look, they out here balling man, today. Balling. They hey, balling. Now, I'm going to tell you, you know what they should be doing when they done, when, they, when the game over and they done balling, you know what they should be doing? Training, trying to get better so they can go to the next level. No. What you talking about, man? Man, they should be listening to us. Oh, okay. Every Saturday morning, man, they should be listening to the Rick, Rick and Reese Reese Show. show. Right. Enjoy 107.1 FM. Okay, okay. And then go get with your trainer <laughs> at about 11. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna forgive you for saying I ain't no baller, though. Nah, it's all good, man. Super salute, man. They out here getting it in, man. Yeah, more media. So, you know, let's keep enjoying the game, man. Yes, sir. At the Ohio High School Athletic Association, our student athletes are going pro at being coachable, a good student, responsible, dependable, respectful. I'm going pro at being a good student, a good student, a good teammate, responsible. I'm going pro at being coachable, a good student, dependable, a good teammate. Representing my school. I'm going pro at being a good student. A good student. Responsible. Let's go pro at respecting the game. Respect 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 the game. Hi. 
I'm Doug Ute, Executive Director of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. For more than 115 years, the OHSAA has promoted school sports as an important part of the student's educational experience. Interscholastic athletics teach participants lifelong lessons of hard work, teamwork, and self-discipline, along with sportsmanship, integrity, getting along with others, and overcoming adversity. One thing the pandemic has taught us is that being on a team with our friends is more important than ever before. So as you continue your journey in athletics, remember the importance of also working hard in the classroom. Always give your best, never give up, and have fun while you're doing it. As an Ohio native and former athlete who learned these same lessons myself, I encourage our young people to focus on your academics so that you can continue the privilege of participating on your team. After all, the lessons that school sports teach us today will prepare you for the wins and losses in life tomorrow. Education is the key to life successes. Welcome back, basketball fans, to the second half. The Belpre Golden Eagles taking on the South Webster Jeeps. South Webster in the red right here, trailing by six. We'll see what Coach Norm Person cooked up for him. Coach Person is the third all-time winningest head basketball boys head basketball boys coach in Ohio history. 778 career victories. Look at that. 224 losses. That's a win percentage of 77.6. Oh, mathematician Ryan. Pretty good is Coach Person. Not me with the math so much. Eli Roberts making it look easy. Getting the Jeeps off to a good start here. And it looked a little bit like the Golden Eagles were in the zone, but that is the way to break it. Roberts with the steal. Takes it up and puts it down. Eli Roberts. Get up, big man. Coming out on a mission after halftime. Let's see what the Golden Eagles got as an answer. Blake Church. Ankles looking fine. Nazea Spencer, Derek Liston, left wing. He likes that spot, can't get it. Good board by Junior Bass. Oh. Let's go to the official and see what they call there. Ooh, foul on Derek Liston. I don't know about that call. I mean, I think at some point somebody's gonna have to have possession of the ball. There we see. Good look at it as they just get kind of tied up. Maybe one hand on the back. That's tough. I say loose ball, let them fight for it. Mm. 
Eagles. All right, 35 to 33. Golden Eagles up two. Eli Roberts. Boarded by Nazea Spencer. Oh, what a steal. Good work at the rim. Looks kind of clean. That's Christian White, number two. Take a look down here. He gets Good the steal. <laughs> Great steal. Great steal. That was the Maurice Claret when he took the ball from Willis McGahee. I remember that. All right, free throw here. Christian White knocks in the first. You always got to have a football analogy, analogy yeah. during a basketball game. Well, in this state you do. Oh, for sure. All right, all tied at 35. Chris Copen, ooh, on the travel. Yep. It's a little lazy, yeah, just a little off balance there. Kind of got to regroup here. Two minutes in, all tied. The first tie since we've started. Let's see if Tyler Summer can get things going here in the second half. As Christian White lets it fly. A long two. In today's game, I say this. Mid-range matters, but I'm talking about in the elbow. If you're that far away from the basket, just take a quick little dribble step back and try to get the three. He had enough time. He was wide open. Out of bounds underneath. That's listed in front of us. Blake Church back to listed. You see the Jeeps extending their pressure now. Good ball movement. Junior Bass inside. Blocked by Roberts. Bass stays with it. Finds his man, Spencer. Good possession by the Golden Eagles. Drive and kick. Blake Church drives and takes the shot. Oh, what a contest by Roberts. Eli Roberts making his presence felt down low. Spencer with the hustle play to slow down the offensive attack from the Jeeps. And out of bounds the far side. Good look at Tyler Summer. Takes the open lane. Another missed layup. Couple points left on the board. Got to finish those. Especially in such a tight game. Derek Liston's going to pull it back out. Hands it off to Church. The Golden Eagles have to move around, get some cuts going to the ball or somebody challenged. They yeah. run into the same issue every time. Coast to coast, Dylan Schuper. Easy layup. Yeah, you said it, Candace. Just a lot of standing around on the offensive side for the Golden Eagles. A good poke. He just takes it the whole way. Quick hands there from Dylan Schuper. Oh, for sure. Foul on Bass on the underneath. Big Jeep's ball. Christian White, the junior guard. The South Webster bringing it on up. Got to get that ball up there. What a pass. Tyler Summer for two. Full timeout. Belpre Golden Eagles as coach leader. Down four, haven't scored a point yet. Struggling out the gate here, early going in the third. And this may be passe, but I think the pressure from the Jeeps is actually a good thing for the Golden Eagles. It forces them to be active on the offensive end because when they get in the half court, all you see is, not all you see, 
but there is a lot of standing around. There's not enough cutting. There's not enough moving. Um, the players are dribbling out on the perimeter instead, instead of trying to initiate any kind of contact going towards the basket. So their best bet for the Golden Knights is to have the Jeeps put pressure on them to get that up and down flow going. Yeah, there's the Jeep. Is that a Jeep? Yep, as we, yeah, I did a little bit of Googling and kind of started with Eugene the Jeep, which was Popeye's pet back in like 1936. Um, so Jeep comes from Eugene. That's the only sound he could make. And it was sort of a dog-like pet that stood upright and walked on its legs. And So anyway, back to the 30s is where the Jeep originates from. As the Golden Eagles push the ball. I have been properly schooled in the Jeep. Yep. And then again, I think all three fouls on Eli Roberts has come from it no less than 20 feet away from the basket. All outside the three-point line. Yep, have to keep an eye on that. That'll be a big impact if he gets into trouble. Here, Golden, Golden Eagles. Stop Blake the pop. Church. Nice little pop jumper there. A little 14 footer. He's got a smooth stroke too. That's what I like to see from the point guard. Point guard doing point guard things. And the big man doing big man things. Bass getting the block from behind. Gotta stay on your feet. Great pump fake. Yep. Draws him off, Dylan Schubert. Drive and attack. Chris Copen down low. Yeah, a little ticky tacky there. Maybe a slap. McGrath had a good angle though from behind, so. Junior Bass called for the foul there. Here's a look at the replay of the play before. Yeah, there's a block by Bass. Got him up in the air. Strong to the basket. Yep. Yep, long possession for the Jeeps there. Two shots at it. Good defense, but then good offense. Well, you like to see that, Candace. I do. Great little jumper from the elbow. It's there every time, especially in today's game. Yeah. No need to shoot a lot of threes. Just take a couple dribbles in, an easier high percentage shot, knock it down. That's always a spot that I like too. Yeah, people kind of leave you alone and it's, you know, it's just a free throw. So it's a very familiar. Yep. Um, Two feet in the block. Right. Love it. All right, six point game. Golden Eagles trail. This is our largest deficit. Strong hands from Junior Bass. Bass could have got an and one with the way the game's been called. All right. Another long three from Eli Roberts. Saved by Malt. And there, that's what you want to see, big man getting it up. Yeah, hands up high, Owen Malt finds an easy assist. I would never tell a player not to shoot. I always want them to be confident, but you have to be aware of where you can be effective. And the mid-range and around the basket is where Eli Roberts can do a lot of damage. Staying out on the three-point line gives the edge to the Golden Eagles. Foul on the floor is on number two, Christian White. That's his first. Blake Church on that little Euro step, got a little body. There's a good look at the last Jeep bucket by Roberts. Yeah, nobody can guard him down there. Nice jab step by Cope and kicks to Church. Golden Eagles having a little trouble from beyond the three. That first quarter, they were knocking them down. They need to get some of that mojo back. Yep, see if Nazea Spencer can get things rolling for them. Jeeps with the ball at the moment. White drives. Man, that's going to be four on Church. And he didn't like the call, but a little lazy reach from behind. Gets him called there. With a buck 50 left, he's got four. We'll see if Coach Leisure's going to leave him in or pull him. And in high school, it's still five fouls. Yep. He's your point guard. I say you have to sit him down at least to the fourth quarter. You're right. down by six, potentially. 
eight yep. if the Jeep's not down both free throws. So we'll probably see Church on the bench for a minute. Yeah, sophomore Hayden Tabler steps in for him as White knocks down his second free throw. Here's that full court pressure from the Jeeps. And there's an over and back that they didn't get called for, but the Jeeps get the turnover. Owen Malt left hand and layup is clutch. Liston, far side, Isaiah Spencer for three. Can't get it to go. I think the message at halftime for the Jeeps was just aggressive, 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 and intensity. It seems like the momentum has completely shifted for the Jeeps. Now they're getting all the, all the steals, hands on the balls, finishing fast break layups. That was a great finish by Malt. Coach Persen got in his team at halftime. Tyler Summer for three. As the Jeeps continue to pull away with this one, up 13 now with a minute remaining here in the third. Extending that pressure, got a little half court trap going on. And again, it does not bode well for the Golden, Eagle, Golden Eagles in the half court. It does not, as Campbell, excuse me, Tabler bounce pass to Spencer. There's a little love from the whistles as an Isaiah Spencer attacks and finishes, gets the end one call. Look you at the see rim. him looking, finally we get a player to move. There we go, finishes. Great cut from Spencer. That's what they really need, again, to get the ball moving. Got to generate some offense somehow. Spencer knocks in. The free throw gets the and one. Belbury trailing by 10. 38 seconds remaining here in the third. White inbounds it to Malt. We're going to see a little pressure from the Golden Eagles. So they got a good opportunity to trap him there against the sideline, but slips through. Tyler Summer drives. Pulls it back. Jump ball. Okay, jump ball there. Some of the fans wanted to travel. Just a little indecision by Summer. Lost his man at the last second. Either way, let's take a look at it. He had his head up looking to pass, but when you get that deep in the paint, you should look to shoot. All right, possession arrow, Belpre, full court pressure by the Jeeps. Junior Bass underneath, three men around him. Fouled on the floor. Let's see who the foul is on. Number two, Christian White. Should just be his second. We'll send Junior Bass to the line. Junior Bass at the line, knocks in the first. Both teams in the bonus. Boarded by Summer, 10 seconds left. Jeeps push it. Oh. There's a two second possession. Eli Roberts at the rim. That is Junior not Bass. what you want to see to end the quarter. At the buzzer, Derek Liston can't get it to fall. As the South Webster boys lead Belfry Golden Eagles 54 to 43, we'll be back for the fourth quarter. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting it- A pretzel it bun? On the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. Football there. Football there. Football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? 
Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref! Let the boys play! Welcome back, fans. Ryan Dietrich and Candace Allen on the Amo Sports Network, live from Waller Gymnasium here at Shawnee State University. Good Sunday afternoon. This is game one of five today. Fourth quarter just getting underway. The Jeeps really turned things around there in the third quarter. As Schubert attacks and gets his own rebound. Christian White, nice kick to Owen Malt. Good ball movement by the Jeeps here. Excellent ball movement. Baseline drive, knocked out of bounds by Crick. Chris Copen. And it's kind of been a tell of two halves. In the first half, we saw the Golden Knights get out by at least nine very early, shooting from three, getting a lot of transition buckets. However, after halftime, the Jeeps just a bit bigger, stronger, tougher, more quality shots. Yep, they he, really turned the table. Eli Roberts gets the two there. Yeah, three and oh, Belpre is down, 13. Junior Bass stepped through, should be called for the travel, yep. Too long there. Yeah, Belpre led by four at half. Mm -hmm. Trailed by 12 at the third. And that's a testament to their, as much as been their offense as well, it's been their defense. Just luring the Golden Eagles into just a half court offense have not done bode well for the Golden Eagles. Eli Roberts, near side. I just have to accept the fact that the big man likes to shoot threes. <laughs> <laughs> Chase Copen, he can't get it to go. Yep, Coach Leisure's heard him at the quarter break, trying to get his boys to play with some effort and intensity and some hard into it. Taking it out in front of us. Dylan Schubert, number three right there. Derek Liston in front of his face. Owen Malt's gonna field it in the backfield. Quick three from the far corner. Way to follow up and what a pass. Jack Campbell underneath. Jack Timothy underneath. I mean, yep. the Jeeps, I've just learned what a Jeep is. It seemed like the Jeeps are the Jeeps. They're getting any and everything that they want, dishing the ball off. Now the players are even ready to catch, as opposed to what was happening in the first half. Yep. They're just off and running. All right, 6.23 to play, and for the Belpre Golden Eagles, it looks like point guard Blake Chirk is going to jump in. His, angle, his ankle was a little bit banged up, mm -hmm. but... Discover the future of recruiting with On Top Consulting. Join us on January 7th, 2024 at 8 p.m. for our Zoom seminar in collaboration with Brick League, Midwest Hoops, and IBT Academy. Learn from college coaches how to navigate the complex recruiting process. Only $40 per family, and attendees get a 25% discount on OTC services. Register at ontopconsulting.net or via our Instagram bio, at underscore ontopconsulting. Don't miss this opportunity. Yeah, definitely a cool, cool seminar, and you know, very important with all these high school athletes. You know, navigating the, you know, it's a big complex world, like it says. So, on top consulting. Net. As we get back underway here, Jeeps. And I'm not sure and about one. And Junior Bass is kind of looking around, like I don't, I don't know about that call. But he's getting called for it. We'll take a look at the replay here. Oh, on the head. Sure. Easy to see from our good cameraman, Marlon, doing the dirty work down the baseline. All right, six minutes to go. Jack, Timothy at the line. All right, Liston working off the point. 
Bass down the baseline. Nice spin move. There he gets a little love from the whistles. Just getting a little active, trying to draw the contact. I like the defense down below, though. You got the teamwork of Owen Malt and Dylan Schubert. You know, smaller guys, but you know, taking on both sides, trying to get that stop. But Junior Bass just doing the work. He'll get to the line, but they're trailing 18. They need to turn things around, and that's not how you do it. And it's been offensively. The Golden Knights have only scored eight points throughout the second half. It's been tough sledding for sure. Eli Roberts. Summer down below realizes nobody's around, just lets it fly. Kind of an awkward looking one, but knocks it down. Listed, blocked by Summer. So they have Junior Bass going to take it to the rack. Gets that one to roll. Finally, Golden Eagles are going to bring up some pressure, try and cause a turnover and turn this thing around. Bernard in the far corner. Taylor with the defense. Good bounce pass on the baseline. Eli Roberts takes a shot from Church. Good look ahead. Blake Church to Isaiah Spencer. Gets the bucket and the foul. When Spencer is out on the open court, nobody is going to outrun him. You see here on the replay, oh, a lot of contact. Roberts in the face, no call. There's Spencer out and running, finishing with his left hand. Yeah, Eli Roberts took one to the chin there, but got to play through it as he assumes the low block. All right, 4.53 to play. Down 15, Spencer knocks it in. Out underneath. Timothy Summer in the corner, moves it around. Owen Malt doesn't take the shot. It looks like they're just working their offense yeah. around. Yeah, move the ball and cut. Owen Malt lets it rip, boarded by the Jeeps. And Tyler Summer on the putback. Junior Bass going to get called for it. That might be his fifth as he heads to the sideline. Yep. Just in the right place at the right time. Oh, that looked like all ball. Bass may, he, he there's no challenge in yeah, high school. <laughs> there's no challenge. But that was a challenge. Yep. All right, Timothy Summer at the line, knocks it in. And Junior Bass, that was his fifth. Takes a seat and fouls out. Chris Copen checks in for him. Coping down on the low block there, number 24. He'll be blocking out Eli Roberts. Summer knocks it in anyway. All right, lead us back to 16. Yeah, a little contact down low. It's a late whistle. That one's on Christian White, the junior again. It'll be his third on him. Blake Church takes the ball out underneath. Good defense by Bernard. Nice spin move by Liston to go around. And right as I say, good defense. Gets called for a little slap on the back of the head. Yeah, good, got bailed out on that one. Was doing some really good work. But at the last minute, just a little slap. We see her here on the replay. Hands up. Hands still up. Uh, right there on the head. That's what you want to see, you know, hands to the side, hands up, moving the feet. Good free throw by Derek Liston. He should have 10 on the night. Bernard gets a chance. Up and in. Liston bringing the ball up here in front of us, gonna let one launch. 
can't buy a bucket. Everything's been in and out for the Golden Eagles here. So they forced the turnover. Spencer in the left wing in front of us. And again, it's just the tell of two halves in that first quarter. The Golden Knights were just knocking down everything, especially from the outside. Tabler, a little crossover. Boarded by Bernard. Eli Roberts still running the floor. They find Summer and Head. Yeah, Copen just, Copen just got turned around down there. And Ryan Leisure, the head coach of the Bell Creek Golden Eagles, looks frustrated. Good board by Chris Copen. As they're bringing the ball up the right side, Hunter Bernard moves it over the left wing, going ball. Oh, great pass. Good pass and score. And just as a reminder, after the game, we were going to have the Brick Player of the Game. We'll post those to our Instagram account, so check us out on Instagram. At Yamo Media 614 Let's we'll see what happens here. Quick touch pass, boom, boom. As usual, the referee yeah. gets in the way of our shot, yeah. but. <laughs> well, Owen Mott just gives it away, and then he, he kind of just continued motion spun, and Christian White just barreling down the lane. You put your head down, keep going. Two minutes left, up 20, still playing hard. Yep, yeah, throw it up, get fouled. Can us go to line shooting two. As I was saying, remember to tune into our Instagram page at Yamo Media 614 for all of the Brick Player of the Game awards and highlights and interviews. There you go. Candace or myself will be conducting that interview after the game. So, yeah, check out our Instagram. Get a little trophy, a pair of shorts, I think. Some cool awards for all the high schoolers here today and over the weekend. Christian White at the line. Second is good. 22-point lead by the Jeeps is the largest of the morning or the afternoon here. Blake Church still playing through fouls and a hurt ankle. A nice step through. Great move. That's the kind of penetration they need to get some points on the board. Needed that offense just a little sooner. Chris Copen on the rebound. Blake Church from 28 feet. And now maybe a little push down underneath, I think, is going to be the call. Yep, that's on number one, Chase Mays. And that'll bring us two five fouls. So that'll put him in the bonus. And it looks like Hunter Bernard at the line. And once again, that's a new rule for this year in middle school and high school basketball in Ohio. There are five team fouls, and then we go straight to a double bonus. No more one and one. Even though I love the one and one, it makes teams make the free throw. I did too. We're just old school, huh? Yeah, that's it. And Isaiah Spencer. Little shimmy, can't get by his man. Blake Church, gonna drive, take a gap. They still, still blowing quite a few whistles here in the late going. Fourth quarter. Trying to get out. take no time off. <laughs> they say we call the game as we see it, no matter the score. And it looks like the Jeeps may be clearing their bench. Their starting five has put in a lot of minutes yep. this morning. Now well, Christian White, one of the starters there, just picked up his fifth foul. It's Blake Church. Knocks down the first. There you go, full swap. Looks only one remains, and that's Campbell. Yep. Yeah, Brock Campbell, Bo Stevens, Caden Johnson, and Jacob McGraw. Bryson McClintock on the far side, 22. Can 
know, I, I don't know why I just caught this until now, but they run a motion offense. Ooh. Now, you talk about old school. That is old yep. school. But it forces your players to move and cut and screen and back screen, especially in the half court. You don't see a lot of stagnant standing around. Players are just constantly in motion. Good drive by McClintic. Two. And it'll bring some substitutions in. Coach Leisure. So we've got number 11, Willis Starcher checking in, the senior. And number 14, Malik Curry checking back in. Isaiah Spencer bringing it up. Moving it up ahead, Jeeps up the right side. Swings around Johnson, McClintock again. Nothing doing. Melpry holding down a good defense. Johnson in the far wing. We hit 35 second mark. McClintock way short. Good hustle board by Brock Campbell, able to throw it off of the leg. Chase Mays. Took a shot down low. Yep, just on the air bowl. Hustle play. Still That's hustling. That's how you get on the floor, especially in these late game seconds. Bet. Clear the bench, keep hustling. That gets you minutes earlier on in the game. Bryce McClintock misses the two. 15 seconds to play. And this will be Belpre's first loss of the season, taking them to three and one. And I believe this moves southwest to 4-0. 23-point difference, and that'll do it. As the clock hits zero, your South Webster Jeeps take down the Belpre Golden Eagles 77 to 54. Live here on the Yamo Sports Network. And make sure you stay tuned, fans. We've got four games coming up. And a good look at the schedule here. Two o'clock, 3.35 and 6.30. And let's see, right now it's 1.45. So they'll do a quick switch, get the next crew out here, and we'll get things underway. This will be our only ladies game of the day, Fort Fry versus Portsmouth. So once again, the South Webster Jeeps take down the Belpre Golden Eagles, 77 to 54. And make sure to check out the YouTube and our Instagram page, Yamo Media 614, where you can find the Blick Brick Player of the Game interview. For Ryan Dietrich and Candace Allen, the Yamo Sports Network, we will see you shortly for the beginning of our next game. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting I'm it.